Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insight. Today we're going to be taking a hands-on look at the latest version of QuickMiner from NiceHash that now has support for AMD cards. We're going to be testing it out and sharing our results with you. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me, let's get started. For my testing today, I'm going to be using my desktop computer that has three graphic cards on it. The first is a RTX 3070 and that's on board on the motherboard and I'm going to keep that mostly disabled because while I'm recording on the computer, I'll usually get very, very low performance. The other two cards is going to be an RTX 3070, that's an EVGA XC3, it's a full hash card. And the next one is an AMD 6600 XT. So we want to really see how well QuickMiner does with these AMD cards. So I just wanted to give you a breakdown of our testing configuration. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the latest version of the Quick Miner. I'll put a link to the NiceHash site below where you can get this release candidate and hopefully that helps you get up and started quickly. Let's get this rig started and get into the testing. About a month ago, we did a release covering the latest Quick Miner release candidate that had the built-in LHR unlock. And this was the first time we've seen any LHR unlock in the Excavator Miner. We created a separate video about that. I'll be putting a link down below, but that was really exciting exciting to see the LHR unlock, but now they're going one step forward. This is the first time they're building in the AMD support. For me, this is really great because I have AMD cards and the simplicity of being able to use QuickMiner. A lot of people love it because you just click a few buttons and even the overclocking, you can just click for the optimization. I just want to be able to optimize it maybe for light, medium or high. It's very simple, intuitive tool that lets you get up and mining very quick, but now being able to take advantage of this with AMD cards. So we're going to be taking a hands-on look at it. There's some additional upgrades, which were features for the auto-tune parameters. It would store them going forward, support for AMD cards, as we just mentioned. And there's a bunch of other features and bug fixes, mainly bug fixes, which that's really good. So hopefully we have more stability out of this miner, but I'm really, really excited. And it's all about really this AMD support. I have a mining rig set up with some Nvidia cards as well as an AMD card. Let's start testing this miner out and see how we do. Let's start this miner up. I'm gonna right click for run as administrator. Do I wanna allow this to make changes, yes, click it, open, and we see our miner opening. I have the quick miner started. Everything is minimized to my status bar as well as my hidden icons. So anything I need to do, I need to do from down below. Let me open up the status I can see for this miner and I can look to see within NiceHash. How does this rig look for quick miner? Although it's just quick miner, not the NiceHash miner, I still get to see all the status messages indicative right within the NiceHash dashboard, the browser. Okay, if I space out a little bit, I can see that I have excavator and I have my three graphic cards, my RTX 3070, full hash card, but it's disabled. A uh, full hash RTX 3070 is mining and my AMD 6600 XT is mining. I can see my hash rates as well as my efficiency start coming in. Let me look at the miner. So I'm getting 60 mega hash on my RTX 3070. That's the full hash card with wow, a 527 efficiency right out of the box. And I'm seeing my also my AMD my 6600 XT is giving me 31.5 about mega hash. Let me just see how it looks in the nice hash dashboard. And this is really great. Now, one thing I really like about the nice hash is that for this excavator, it lets me add cards or remove cards and it doesn't restart the miner. So normally if I was using NB miner, if I go to add a card or enable a card, it will close down the existing miner session and it will start up. But this one, I can just seem to be able to apply overclock settings, even enable and disable certain graphic cards to do mining. And it just seems to adjust that right within the excavator miner within uh, quick miner. So it seems like the way quick miner as well as excavator work, it seems very, very coupled together. They communicate well. It's nice not having to have that whole big restart. My cards are running great. I see now I just enabled my RTX 3070 and you'll see it's running a low hash rate. I only have 48.69 mega hash. And again, that's because I'm recording on this computer. So it's my primary GPU, but it's so cool that I can just apply these overclock settings without having to stop and restart the miner each time and watch everything go through its initialization. Let's load the DAG, let's go through all that. And it's timeless with that, but this is kind of nice. You can just enable and disable at will and it's built right into it. And it's nice to be able to do it and set those overclock is right from within the NiceHash dashboard. I see here for I have high setting for my RTX 3070. I have a medium setting for my RTX 3070, the second card, as well as this is great too, because I'm using the settings right out of the box for the AMD 6600 as well. You can just apply these changes and now I see power mode, max TDP is set to medium. 
So, wow, this is great. Not having to stop and restart this miner continually. This is definitely something I really appreciate, especially compared to the regular nice hash miner. How is this mining? So I see I'm getting great speed. Oh, I'm getting over 60 mega hash for my full hash and 31 for my AMD 6600. And we see there's a lot of information on here. I have my configuration for all my cards, as well as general options, there's fan requirements, there's overclocking, which would do even lock core clocking I can do from here. This is pretty impressive tool and it lets me do its steps, but it's really nice because I can do it and the miner won't stop and restart every time I have to make an adjustment. So maybe this is another method for us to tune, but I'm getting really great results out of this. The share is accepted. Everything seems to be running good within the miner. I'm getting 60 of a 60 mega hash out of my RTX 3070, 31.84 mega hash out of my AMD 6600. And these were using the settings right out of the box, just using a medium configuration, even that they've provided for the AMD. So if I have AMD cards, I don't have to worry about going into Wattman because that sometimes can be pretty challenging, especially if you're not familiar with overclocking, trying to set, okay, well, what is my core offsets and what is the power limits? All those other settings. There's a lot more performance settings in Wattman that you have to worry about, but being able to come right into this dashboard and being able to make these settings even for nvidia as well as now amd cards this is very very promising i see there's even a section here for amd overclocking for core clock absolute as well as memory clock that you can apply here there's some undervolting but i don't usually play with undervolting because you can technically hurt your card from what i understand with it but look at this there's even lhr unlock settings here so we know we've seen in the previous version of excavated this now they're adding some features for the lhr unlock but now you can actually start doing some of the tweaks and tunes even for the LHR card settings right here within the miner. This is a really, really nice step forward in this dashboard to be able to set these configurations. And it's overwhelming too. There's a wiki page that NiceHash provides and there's running NiceHash Quick Miner for the first time explained. There's also tips and tricks how to optimize and maximize your earnings and information on how to use the OC Tune tool. So I'll put a link down below. This is actually right on the NiceHash blog, but they have a lot of instructions here how to use the new OC Tune tools. It gives you a little bit of extra explanation on their dashboard, some of the models, some of the overclock settings, if you're looking for the highest speeds, also experimental stuff with overtuning. So there's a wealth of information here. Again, I'll be putting a link down below, but you can link to it right from within IceHash, right from their own blog post. While I have my quick miner all set up, I thought it'd be a great time to swap out the AMD card and let's put in an LHR card to see if there's any improvement in the auto tune, what we can get out of it. Let me open up nice hash miner. I still have my two RTX 3070s, but I replaced the AMD 6600 XT with a RTX 3060. This card, normally I could probably get about 36, 37 mega hash if I'm using T-Rex or NB miner. Now we're going to be running it within the new excavator that's within quick miner to see how well it does with the LHR. And the miner started, I see some accepted shares. It recognized device two is starting with anti LHR enabled. So that's good that it's recognizing it's an LHR card, but let's see what type of hash rate we can get out of this. It's still not giving me the hash rate for that second card. I have my first card I keep disabled because again, I'm recording, so I'll have a low hash rate. I'm seeing I'm still getting my 60.66 mega hash for my RTX 3070 full hash rate card. Okay, I see my first status message now come in on my RTX 3060. I'm getting 34.7 mega hash, 96 watts at a 360 efficiency. So this is definitely a lot better than stock. Not as good as I would be able to get with some of the other miners like T-Rex or MB miner or even G miner, which we recently covered. But, you know, for excavator now to have be able to get about 72% unlock, you know, 72 to 73 seems like the configuration value that they're doing. But we're getting about 72 to 73% of the LHR unlock now within quick miner. This is really, really good. I'm seeing 33.84 and I have some settings I can tune this up if I want to go switch this to manual, I could go do some overclocking or even play with some of the LHR values. But it's exciting the progress we're seeing now with Quick Miner. Not only does it have uh, new features for the OC tune, you see parameters there for overclocking, doing locked core clock, setting configuration values for AMD cards. But now, you know, we even have values too that we can come in and we could start specifying and trying to fine tune some of the LHR values. See, there's LHR unlock settings right over there on the side. It's set it at, by default, it seems to come in at value of 72, but I could tweak these numbers around and it's nice that the miner doesn't stop and restart when you apply it. It's pretty cool. I wish all miners could just 
keep going and we kind of work very integrated while they're working and just keep fine tuning. It definitely saves some time and simplicity is definitely a, a step forward. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already. We welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Happy mining.